fun opportunity for dads and grandpas to get the chance to ride the steam train. Now, this is the locomotive, which is the part that actually makes the train go. These are volunteers that are out here. Chuck spending his Father's Day volunteering this morning. He has four boys. But he will be spending Father's Day with the people of Sacramento. Elias helping out as well to make sure that this is able to go. Are people shocked when they see what it takes to do this? They really are, and it's a testament to these great volunteers. I mean, we just couldn't run it without them. And uh, to have them come out early in the morning on a Father's Day weekend, it takes a lot to get this locomotive steamed up with oil, with water, all the things that go into it for a great ride starting today at 11 o'clock. And earlier I had mentioned the clothing requirements. The fear is that if something is easily able to catch on fire, they want you to make sure that you're wearing closed toed shoes. Nope, I have sandals. And they want to make sure generally that you're wearing cotton. Yeah. Nope. <laughs> so that's why we're outside, although it's a very tiny space it is. inside there. So if people want to be able to come out. We already have, look at all these people with lining dads up. and grandpas lining up to be able to get on the train. Yeah. It takes off at 11, but there's right. more opportunities. What that's, time's today? Absolutely. It's every hour on the hour starting at 11. So 11, 12, 1, 2, 3, and 4. Okay. And what do they need to do? Do they need to go online or can they just show no, up here? No, actually, just show up here. We have a, 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 a station out front with the ticket sales and hop on. Board. Now, there is a VIP section, which we showed yeah. in the earlier hours. That's selling out quick. What does that include? It is selling out a little bit faster than Coach, but yeah, it's great service, first class with snacks and water and lemonade, iced tea. So it's really, um, if you want to treat dad, that's where you're going to want to be. I was telling Cheryl earlier that uh, I had gone with my granddaddy last year to the Automobile Museum, and it was so cool when we were inside because he was pointing out these cars. He said, Oh, that was our first car that we ever had. So you don't know the story. That maybe dad or grandpa, great grandpa have about riding these trains. And so by getting out here with your family, it's a fun opportunity to get to hear their stories. Uh, so again, it's going to take off at 11. Oh, already people are excited, as you can tell. Uh, so get on out here again on the hour and lots of other fun things to do in Old Sacramento. Are you surprised by how busy it is out here today it's, already? It's very busy. I went to get a nice tea at Steamers and the line was out the door. Yeah, people so. love coming out here. And also, I just learned, I don't I don't know if you guys know this, but the, uh, the Transcontinental Railroad actually uh, for the west side started here, right here. Uh, so there's a lot of history too, uh, which, which I love to be able to learn about. A uh, fun thing to do with your kiddos. Get on out here. Cody, yes. we're, gonna, we're ending the show. This is my last segment with you. Happy Father's Day. Thank you, for, Thank you for the positive influence you are in my life. Oh, I appreciate Aww, that. Don't make him cry. <laughs> He's already been on the verge so many times today.